In this video, I will show three really cool and simple effects and transitions that any of you can do. And for that, I will ask for just 50 likes on this video. The first effect I want to show you is the ghost effect. First, add the video to your timeline and hold down the ALT key and drag the clip to the track above to create a duplicate layer. Now move the duplicate a little bit forward and make sure it is selected. Then go to the effect control. Now place the playhead at the beginning and set the opacity to 20 and click on the stopwatch next to it to create the initial keyframe. Move the playhead slightly forward and set the opacity to 100 to create the second keyframe. You are free to choose when this effect ends. Now, I want to show you a cool transition that can be done pretty quickly. Let's add some videos. Drag the second video under the first video so they have some overlap. Now go to the effects panel and search for gradient wipe. Drag it and apply the gradient wipe effect to the first video. Now move the playback head to the beginning where the videos overlap and select the first video and go to the effects panel. Click on the stopwatch next to the transition completion to create the initial keyframe. Move the playhead to create the second keyframe. Move the playhead to the end of the overlay and set the transition completion to 100 to soften the transition increase the transition softness to 50. We've got a pretty good transition but we can make it better. To do this drag the third video in the top track over the second video so they overlap. Drag the gradient wipe affecting your third video and select it. Then move the playhead to the beginning of the overlay and go to the effects control. Set the transition completion to 100 and click the stopwatch next to transition completion to create the initial keyframe. Move the playhead to the end of the overlay and set transition completion to zero to create the second keyframe. Also set softness to 50. Now let's disable the gradient erase effects for the first and third clips and use a different method. Place all the clips on the same track one after another. This time drag the gradient erase transition, which is in the video transition section between your videos and click OK. Select transitions and in the effects, make sure the alignment is set to center at cut. Let me show you how to make a paper transition like this in a couple of minutes, by the way. I hope you already liked it. Adding two video clips to the Premiere Pro timeline. Now we're going to create a basic paper transition between these two clips. So move the indicator to the middle of these clips. Then move back five frames by holding the shift key and pressing the left arrow key. Now click on that little camera icon to take a picture of that frame. Navigate to the location where you want to save it. Create a new folder and select this folder as the location of the snapshot. Select PNG format and don't forget to enable import to project. Now click on OK. This will make the snapshot in the project window. Now add the snapshot image above your video clip. Reduce the duration of the snapshot layer to the middle of these two clips. Now select the snapshot layer right. Click and click on edit in Photoshop. This will open your image in Photoshop application here. I'm using a paper texture for this transition. You can download it on the internet. Just drag it onto the image surface and choose the overlay effect you like. Now, export this image by pressing Alt plus Shift plus Control plus W select PNG format and click on Export, go to the snapshot location, and replace the snapshot with the image. Now let's go back to Premiere Pro. As you can see, our first transition is ready. To make it more lively, let's add a sound effect that you can download online. That's it. Hopefully we've got 50 likes already, and then a new interesting video won't be long in coming.